Shout out to JBW Gaming 5 for requesting the first character for this episode, and Marzena Hayes for requesting the second character. Thank you both. Also, I have an important message involving the DLC Ideas series. I want you guys to watch till the end of the episode to figure out what that's about. And when you do, I want you to listen to it carefully, because I don't want to have to repeat myself in the comments. So once again, an important message for the end of the episode involving the DLC Ideas series. Watch till the end, listen to it, so I don't have to repeat myself. Thank you. And now, I don't want the episode. Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, pizza fans of all ages, my name is Mike, and welcome to Pizza Man Mario. And for one day, for now, until further notice, my DLC ideas for Nickelodeon and All-Star Brawl is back. And we have a double feature episode for you guys today, involving two Loud House characters, Luna Loud and Luan Loud. What's ironic about doing these two characters together in a double feature episode is that they both share a bedroom in the Loud House. That's a coincidence, isn't it? Anyway, it's been a while since we did this series, so I'll go ahead and explain how this works for all the people who may be new to the channel, may never see my videos before. I talk about the characters' movesets, the stage they come with, and their alternate costumes. So, let's not waste any more time and talk about our first character of the night, Luna Loud. So y'all take a seat, get comfortable, grab your snacks and beverages, and let's get started. Luna will now begin her performance with a little song I like to call Luna's Light Attacks. Her light neutral could be headbanging, in which Luna will headbane while headbutting her opponents. You see? Her light up could be Hello Royal Woods. And what basically she'll throw up like the gain signs in the air, hitting her opponents in the process. That kind of thing. Her light down could be String of a Guitar. In which Luna will basically play her guitar. You know, string downwards, hitting her opponents. I can imagine she'd be similar to Lincoln in this regard where she can hold down the button and keep doing the move. Probably the same thing for the headbanging attack. Maybe not the Hello Royal Woods. I don't know if that really worked, but maybe it could, I don't know. Moving on to the light air attacks. For a light neutral air, I have Big Kick, in which Luna will kick her opponents in the face. It's like in Super Brawl Universe, which has a kick move. You're gonna be seeing a lot of uh, pictures from Super Brawl Universe, by the way. Because, you know, she's in that. Her light up air could be Rock on, in which Luna takes out her guitar, puts it above her head, starts playing it, like, I don't know, take a, that sound effect and make a visual uh, picture of what it looks like. Yeah. It'll be like a multi-hit move, kind of similar to Rocco's light up air, but does like the boxing punches, does like multiple hits, think of that. Her light down air could be tambourine in which she hits her opponents with a tambourine. This is the only time I'm giving Luna a different instrument than her guitar in this moveset, just so you know. And then her light dash attack could be sliding finish, in which Luna, like any guitarist would do, slide down on her knees while playing the guitar. It's pretty much the same thing as Michelangelo's air guitar light down, which is the bang it, and slides on his knees, but this will have more range and do more damage. Think of it like that. And that will do for Luna's light attacks. Let's crank the music up to full volume with Luna's strong attacks. Her strong neutral could be guitar swing. I couldn't find a picture of her swinging her guitar, so let's pretend this picture is her swinging the guitar. Yeah, basically, she'll pick up her guitar like a baseball bat 
and swing it at her opponents, just like SpongeBob swings his jellyfish net. Her strong up could be neck shot, in which Luna will take her guitar and like launch it in the air, hitting her opponents with the neck of it. Her strong down could be guitar smash. Yeah, if you can tell already, most of her attacks are using her guitar. Because, you know, guitar she uses it all the time, so gotta have most of Musa based off the guitar, I suppose. But yeah, Luna will take her guitar and smash it on the ground, hitting any nearby opponent. That's what guitar players do, right? The extreme guitar players? I'm pretty sure they do. Moving on to the strong air attacks. For strong neutral air, I have aerial guitar swing. Nothing much to say about this attack. Same thing as the other guitar swing, but in the air. A strong up air could be rock and roll kick, in which Luna will kick the air upwards while playing the guitar and hitting any opponent that gets in her way. Her strong down air could be aerial guitar smash. Once again, like the aerial guitar swing, same thing as the guitar smash, but in the air. And then a strong dash attack could be stage dive. As the name implies, Luna will do a stage dive and just splash on any incoming opponent. And that will do for Luna's strong attacks. Now I think it's time for an encore with Luna's special attacks. For a neutral special, I have music to your face, in which Luna will play a string on her guitar and send out, let's say, three notes at her opponents in a similar fashion to the spread fire in Contra. You know, like multiple notes at once. If you know about Contra and how the spread fire works, you know what the move will look like, basically. Her up special could be Super String, in which Luna will jump in the air and crash down, then a big string with a guitar, launching any opponent away. And her down special could be Amplify, in which Luna will pull out some speakers Hit a big note on her guitar, launching a huge blast from the speakers, launch the opponents into the blast zone. Think of this as like Luna's version of Danny's ghostly whale. If you know how that move works, you'll know how this move works. Now let's talk about Luna's stage, and I like to call it Play It Loud, based off her song on the episode Really Loud Music. Now this stage I kind of think could be similar to Garfield's stage and Hugh's stage, where it's more like an imaginary world based on the character. Like, I think that can work for Luna. Like, we can give her, like, a music video kind of stage. Where, like, in the background, you see like, all these kind of flashy colors, like a music video, some instruments in the background, notes and whatnot. Maybe even some lyrics, I don't know. Meanwhile, the characters keep, like, fighting on, like, maybe an instrument of some kind. Like, for instance, you can have, like, a drum for, like, the bass battlefield and like symbols on there for like platforms that anyone can jump on and fight on and whatnot. I think something like that can work for Luna for a stage. It'd be something really cool to see, I feel. I also move on to Luna's alternate costumes. Start off with this first one here. I have her Halloween costume from the episode Tricked. I'm like the skeleton looking costume thing. That'd be really cool. Next we have the nightclub, which is from uh, Pulp Friction, her uh, superhero uh, costume and name. And finally, I have the Rock God, which I believe is from the episode A Dark and Stormy Night. I don't know. Uh, let me know in the comments if I'm wrong or right, whatever. Yeah. All three of these costumes are really cool. I think they'd be perfect for Luna's alts. And that'll do for the special attacks stage and alternate costumes for Luna Loud. Which means altogether, those are my ideas for Luna Loud in Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl, or All-Star Brawl 2. Like I mentioned before in the fan poll video I did the other day, Luna's probably my third, I mean, my uh, most wanted third rep for the Loud House, my bad. Hopefully I did her justice with this moveset, and I think I did. 
If JBW Gaming 05 is watching this, hopefully you enjoyed this portion of the episode. And now, let's talk about the second character of this episode, Luan Loud. Hope you guys are still sitting comfortably in your seats. And if you are, hope you have some snacks and beverages left. If so, let's get started. Let's see what kind of tricks Luan has up her sleeve, starting off with her light attacks. Her light neutral could be, what are you doing? Ha 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 ha, get it? I tried to name all of Luan's attacks based off of some kind of corny joke. This is all the mixed with kind of jokes in the show. But it's kind of hard to do that though with a lot of these attacks. I got some of them, but I don't even know if they're that good. If you guys have any better ideas for jokes for these moves, uh, let me know in the comments below. Anyway, for this attack, Luann will spray her opponent's faces with her sprinkler flower. Her light up, I had to do it. And I get it. I'm not going to do that for every single joke attack. For this move, Luann will pull her pet rabbit, Gary, out of a hat and hit her opponents in the process. Her light down could be honk in which Luann will pull out a horn and honk her opponents in the face with it. Moving on now to the light air attacks. With a light neutral air. Is this thing on? In which Luann will pull out a microphone and hit her opponents with it. So she's basically stealing April's move. Her light up air could be a daddy long leg up on things. In which Luann will pull out her fake spider and like launch it up into the air, hitting any opponent that comes in contact with it. I would hate to be hit by this move. I don't like spiders. Unless you're Spider-Man, then you're cool. Or a spider Pokemon, like a Spinarak or Ariados or whatever. Her light down air could be... Aerial honk! Much like the other honk, except it's in the air. Do you like where I say honk? I don't know. And for light dash attack... The unicycle of life. That was supposed to be another joke, but again, not sure if it's too good. This is where we see Luann riding on a unicycle, crashing into opponents. And that'll do for Luann's light attacks. Now let's see Luann really crack her opponents up, both literally and figuratively, with their strong attacks. Her strong neutral could be, you got creamed in which Luann will throw a pie, smacking opponents in the face with it. She can join Garfield and Hugh with a pie move. It can be the pie trio. Do they all got pie moves, you see? Yeah. But strong up could be spring snakes. I couldn't come up with a pun for this one. Sorry. For this move, Luann will pull out a cup, open it up, and then a bunch of spring snakes will pop out. The snakes will hit the opponents, you see? Her strong down could be paint in the neck, in which Luann will throw a paint bomb down on the ground. It will explode upon impact, hitting an opponent who comes in contact with it. Luann's done a few paint bomb pranks in the show, that's where the inspiration came from. Moving on now to the strong air attacks. The strong neutral air, I have thinking outside the box in, in which Luann will bop the opponents in the face with a boxing glove attached to a spring. The strong up air and flower power. Couldn't think of a pun for this one either. For this, the wan will hit the opponents in the air with a bag of flour, getting them all powdery and whatnot, or flowery. Is flour powder? Does it count as powder? I don't know. But yeah. For the strong down air, I have more bane for your buck it in which Luann will pour a bucket of water on her opponents. You know, like that old kind of prank where you take a bucket of water, put it on like a top of a door, and when they open it, it spills on them. Now, why am I even explaining it? You guys will probably already know what I'm talking about. But yeah, Luann will pour a bucket of water on her opponents. And I feel like this could be similar to Rocko's Drawn Down Air, in which he has like the plunger and bowling ball. Like the bucket hitbox represent the plunger, and the bowling ball represented by the water. You know what I mean? Yeah, just think of that. If you know how Rocco's drawn down air works, you know how Luan's drawn down air will work. 
And if it's drawn, dash attack. Going coconuts. Yeah, I had to use Mr. Coconuts in here at some point. For this move, Luan will pull Mr. Coconuts out and like dash forward with them. That Mr. Coconuts like punch the opponents in the face during it. And that'll do for the Wan strong attacks. Now the Wan always wants to pull those special kind of pranks. So we're gonna need some special attacks to pull them off. So let's talk about the special attacks, shall we? For the neutral special, I have Joy Buzzer to the World. In which the Wan will grab an opponent and then shot them with a Joy Buzzer. I guess Patsy's not the only one who has like a grab move for their neutral special. And for the up special, I have Gelatin Jump. This doesn't represent the move, this picture. It was the only picture of Luan with Gelatin I can find, so I had to go ahead and use it. Anyway, Luan for this move will launch itself in the air by bouncing on Gelatin. Gelatin can even hit the opponents on the way down, and it can land on the floor and become an item. You can dodge opponents and splash in their faces, or you can get them trapped inside. Who knows? The gelatin has a mind of its own. It can do whatever it wants. And then for the down special, the whoopee cushion. And which Luan will, will place a whoopee cushion on the stage for an unexpected opponent to step on and it'll explode. <laughs> yeah, like that. An exploding whoopee cushion. How about that? Now that's an ultimate prank. Anyway, let's move on to the stage now. And I have two options for the stages. Thanks to two viewers on my community tab, I asked you guys for some ideas for stages for Luann. And there were two viewers that sent me an option. The first one here is Theater Club. Shout out to Donald Toon for this idea. And the second one here is the Chortle Portal. Shout out to Hamid Delana for this idea. Hope I said your name right. If I didn't, I apologize. These are some good ideas for stages, I feel. For theater club, we have it based off some kind of a play. Maybe we can start off with the curtains opening. Kira's getting ready to battle. Just a regular stage at first. And then eventually, the stage can like morph into a certain kind of play. Like trees in the background to jump on or whatever. And it can transition like scenes in a play. And it'll essentially change the stage. Like give it different kind of platforms and whatnot. If that makes any sense. Basically just a transitioning stage. That's all I can really say about it. And then for Chortle Portal, you fight on the stand where Luan and Mr. Coconuts perform. You know? And now let's talk about Luan's alternate costumes. This first one I have, I've got the Joker. No, not that Joker. This Joker. Luan's uh, superhero uh, outfit or whatever from uh, Pulp Friction. This next one I have here is this clown outfit. I think it's from the episode Funny Business. And that could work as well. And finally, I have this mime outfit. I forgot what episode this is from. Yeah, I think all of these would work for Luann. You know, match her character very well. And that'll do for Luann's special attacks, stage, or stages, and alternate costumes. And altogether, those are my ideas for Luann Loud in Nickel and All-Star Brawl, slash Nickel and All-Star Brawl 2. Most likely with Luann Loud, hopefully I did the character justice, and I feel like I did. You know, all things considered. So Marzena Hayes, if you're watching this, hopefully you enjoyed this portion of the episode. And now that that's done, it's time for me to talk about the important message that I mentioned in the beginning of the episode. And remember, listen to this carefully I don't want to repeat myself in the comments. I'm not a parrot, see? So, first of all, a couple of reminders. This is going to be the last DLC Ideas episode, for now, until the two things happen. If we get a revealed trailer for Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl 2, or if a lot of time passes, we still don't have anything regarding that game, if it exists or not. Then I'll bring the series back to get some more character requests done. Now. How much time needs to pass before I can do this? We'll say one month. Like all through August, I'll hold back on episodes, see if we get anything in August, like a reveal trailer for All-Star Brawl 2. If we don't, then in September, I'll bring the series back to do some more character requests. 
remember that. If we get nothing in August, then September, I'll go back to doing more character requests. Now, I'm sure you're probably wondering, are we still allowed to do character requests? You still are, but you have to remember, we have a five character limit now. You can only request up to five characters at a time. If you have to request more than one character, you can't go more than five. Not seven, not six, not five and a half, only five. That doesn't mean you can request five characters, just only up to five. If you just have to request more than one character. And if you have up to five characters requested already, you can't request any more characters right now. You have to wait until I get the other episodes done. I want this to be fair for everybody. I want everyone to get a chance to get a request done. And I can't do that if one person's requesting 10, 20 characters. So remember, the five character limit. I mean, you can cross up to four characters, three characters, or two characters if you want to. But no more than five, that's it. I know I might be repeating myself here, but I want to make sure this sinks in. So once again, I don't have to repeat myself in the comment section. And now for the final thing I'll mention, this series is going to be under a new name now. It's no longer going to be called the DLC Ideas Series. It's going to be called the New Brawler Ideas Series. I decided that I don't want to specify each character as DLC anymore. Just call them New Brawlers instead. I think that'd be nicer. So yeah, from now on, this is going to be my New Brawler Ideas for Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl. I like the way that sounds. So yeah, that's the end of this important message. Once again, please don't make me have to repeat myself in the comments. And that's all I have to say here. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you didn't, let me know in the comments below. And I will punish myself for letting you guys down by paying someone $100 to toss a soccer ball at my head. Like, <clears throat> Yeah, that'll be my punishment for letting you guys down with this video. But yeah. But for, for right now, it's time for me to hit the road. That's gonna be it for today's video. Did you like it? If you did, give me a solid and punch the like button below like a piece of dough. And if this is your first time on this channel, you like what you saw, you wanna come back for more, hit that subscribe button to become a member of the Pizza Mind Mario Party today. Share it out with your friends, your boyfriends, your girlfriends, or whoever you wanna share with. Hit that bell on turn notifications to be the first one to see all our current videos. Without a bit of time, leave a comment. Until next time, this is your boy Mike signing out, so... Wait, I did the wrong thing. This is your boy Mike signing out, so... Peace out, y'all. Hope you have a great rest of your day.